Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Cashton. Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, LLC. As we get this ball game underway, it's a Scenic Bluffs contest. Let's take a quick look here at the first offering was fouled back. Stepping in to bat here for the Tigers, this is Jacqueline uh, Bloor. I hope I'm saying that name right. And she is going to wind up at second base. The throw a little bit too high and up over the top from Natalie Kramer <clears throat> playing shortstop. Has that ball get away from her. And the Tigers have the opening runner on board. <coughs> well, it's very uh, cool day out here. Here's the offering, the number two hitter, and uh, Tony Mitchell. She is the center fielder. Taylor Lukashevsky doing the pitching here. There's a called strike. Cashton with limited number of players today as we... Try to zoom in just a little bit more. Here's a quick toss. Over to first, getting the out. But now the throw over to third goes off the mitt of Tegan Hunt. And in to score is going to be Jacqueline Bloor. So Bloor picks up the opening run here of the ball game for the Tigers. No RBI on that one. Hillsboro jumping out in front, one nothing. Well, taking a look sometimes at this uh, the sun right behind us here, I guess I'm going to have to put the canopy up on my chair so I can <laughs> get a little little shadow. Not that I need that any. I need all the sun I can get. Try and stay warm here. Well, we'll zoom in just a touch more. See how this is going to look. Stepping in to bat now is the pitcher in Chelsea Marty. Marty facing Lukashevsky takes a called strike. She acted a little surprised on that one. Hard to say. That's downstairs, and Marty will draw the first walk of the ball game. Well, we've had the first run, first out, and first walk now. Stepping in is the catcher in Malia Liske, or Liska, excuse me, Liska. There's a pass ball, and hustling down to Second base is Marty. So again, uh, runner in scoring position here right away for the Tigers. Swing and a miss. Well, thanks to those terrific sponsors that we'll try to mention throughout uh, today. Of course, American Family Insurance, Phil Strand Agency, ADRC, Agent and Disability Resource Center, of Vernon County. And of course, many, many more here that we'll be able to talk about as we continue on with today's ball game. Lukashevsky ready. She rocks and fires. Here's a drive going out to center field. Well hit over the center fielder's head in Helgeson. Run goes in and the ball comes into play in the infield. The run, well, she just uh, really got things going there. Huge hit right there by Liska. Two in with one down, and here is Von uh, Falkenstein, I believe is how you say this one. Von Falkenstein 
Right-handed hitter facing Lukashevsky. Right out in front. Nope, they're going to be a foul ball. That one right off her foot. Going to try and walk that one off a little bit. That's never easy. That's got to smart. 0 oh, and 1 the count. Here's a strike. out in front. Thank you. That's a little bit high for a ball. Well, a rather cool day here. Sunshine right now, but all kinds of clouds around. So we'll be uh, intermittent, I guess you could say, with sunshine and some uh, cloudy times along the way. Get some shade in here. This ball lifted out here to right field, and it's going to drop. Heading to third, Liska is going to make it all the way around. She got a late break, but she showed off her speed. Getting to uh, home plate. Credit a uh, double here for Von Falkenstein. It's 3-0. Here in favor of Hillsboro Tigers as they come to town. Hard shot off the glove of Hunt. I'll tell you what, I would go with a base hit on that one any day. And the throw down, going to give her a double. She was turning the corner and heading towards second base was uh, Koblenz. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back doubles here for the Tigers. And now it's Grace Holthy stepping in. Holthy is, uh, let's see what she is. I don't know if we have that on the roster here. We uh, appreciate that. Here's a ground ball, shortstop, throw over. And I think she's going to be... Out at third. Safe at one, though, yep. I think, uh, let's see. Going to run that one out. That was a tough one. <laughs> we'll give her a single. And then the throw over to third, though, was uh, three to five for out number Out number two. But the three runs, uh, check that four runs in. There's a shot that's going to drop in to left field. Coming around here at first base. That was uh, Sierra Seifert coming up with the hit. Holthy winds up at second. And here is, uh, this should be Megan Muller stepping in. Chop that one foul. Well, uh, American Family Insurance, the Phil Strand Agency, supporting today's broadcast along with ADRC, Agent and Disability Resource Center of Vernon County. We take a look at uh, more of those terrific sponsors. There's a called strike. One and two now. 
We'll stop in here at the Bank of Cashin, the new facility now open for some time now, about three weeks or so. Ground ball, Hunt will step on the bag at third base to take care of the inning. But what an inning here right now for the um, Hillsborough Tigers. They come up with four runs. They get four runs on, uh, let's see, three. There were three, four, or five hits in a row. There was also two errors in the inning. Well, we'll take a break and come back with more here from Cashton as the Eagles come up to bat trailing 4 nothing. Well, here we are with the Cashton Eagles stepping up in the bottom half of the first inning. They find themselves down 4 nothing here early on in this ballgame. Now, we mentioned uh, before, at least I thought I did, but just to kind of reiterate, the Eagles with only nine players right now. They've had some injuries and some people out due to other protocols. There's a swing and a foul. Leading things off here, the catcher in Grace Lease, left-handed hitter, as she looks to try and Get something rolling here. Get on base. 4 nothing score. Chelsea Marty doing the pitching here. That's low and away. Tigers. Well, they always seem to have a very nice, respectable team over the course of the years. That ball upstairs as Lease walks up to it, ready to swing. These left-handed hitters under the direction of coaching of uh, Clint Kramer, they do a great job of like the little, I call it a running bunt. They will create problems in the infield. That's fouled back. She got the bat head out there and put the ball behind the screen, or back on the screen, I guess I should say. Next offering is a swing and a miss. That one, I don't know if that was a little drop ball or what happened there, but that just kind of disappeared under the bat. And there's one down. Here comes Taylor Lukashevsky. It's pitcher against pitcher. Taylor takes the first one upstairs. Well, as you can see in uh, the background there, some high uh, piles of a mixture of some topsoil in the front, and in the background it's, I don't know, probably going to be some kind of fill. Continue to work here in the city. There's a pretty good cut. It's a swing and a miss. Well, take a look at uh, Friday night under the lights one more time with football. That ball is lifted foul up over the screen. Cash and Eagles hosting the Nasina Cardinals. Cardinals come to town. But tell you what, that could be a real good ball game. Hope you can join us. We'll have it live on Channel 2, the Cashton School Channel. And we'll get it up and running as quick as possible with the WWVP YouTube channel. We hope to have it up and running by Saturday morning. Well, time will tell. We also have a Baseball tournament on Saturday in Westby, so be kind of hard pressed for time. <laughs> but pass the word, Channel 2. Well, Lukashevsky is going to draw a walk. So a runner on with one down. Marty taking a look and fires. Ground ball. 
First baseman flips, and it is in time. Just, uh, or is it not? No, it's not. I took a look. It looked like the one guy was going to say out, but to my right, which I could not see, was the umpire, the base umpire, and he says, no, you beat it out. So Natalie Kramer coming up with a nice hit and gets Lukashevsky over to second base. So one on, two on, one out. Catcher and Liska running back out with the ball and will flip it over to Marty. Well, a big uh, big lead down there at second base. A good jump by Lukashevsky and Liska just... <laughs> Wanted to make sure she was going to stay close. Here's a pop-up, and this one is going to be caught by the second baseman. Good job over there getting under the ball and calling right away. That was Adeline Wood. Wood is probably not going to be seen in the batter's box for Hillsboro as they have a designated player in the lineup. And they have Wood down as the last batter. So here's the ball getting away from the infield. And now the runners move up to second and third. Well, that could be a big break. Let's see if Cashton can capitalize on that. Yeah, the ball just kind of got away from the infield and they scooted up. One more base. Two in scoring position. Here's a ball upstairs. Marty is ready. And fires and it's a... That looked like a ball up high. Faith Butzler on deck. There's two down. Brigham takes the strike. Ella Brigham is just one of those players that you'd love to have on your team. Full of energy, gives it everything that she can to help the team. Here's a drive. This one, though, is not going to get too far out there. It'll be caught by the center fielder. Well, a pretty good chance to score, but no runs, no hits. I will check that one hit, two left on.
Well, back we come, and uh, we take a look. We just missed a fly ball that was caught out in left field. A nice uh, running catch out there. Well, we had to get a different uh, mic. Some things weren't uh, working the way they were supposed to. I always hate that. Here's a pop-up that's caught. Adeline Wood flew out to left field. Here's a pop-up by Bloor. For two down, here is the number two hitter in Tony Mitchell. That's fouled off. Lukashevsky getting set once again. Just downstairs. Well, those sponsors, Cash and Farm Supply out here on Highway 27. That's going to be upstairs. Ernie Peterson and crew. Here's a line drive. Pretty well hit and caught out there. A nice running grab. That's uh, two catches out there, two out of the three outs in uh, left field. And uh, that was Sydney Hargison doing a nice job. Uh, she was uh, roaming left field making those grabs. Well, no runs on no hits and a couple of nice defensive gems out there in left field for Sydney. That means we can take a break and we'll come back with the bottom half of inning number two. And let's take a look here. We will see, uh, it should be Faith Butzler, Reba Flock, and Sydney Hargison. How about that? We'll be returned after this. Well, thanks again to those terrific sponsors as we get things going here in the bottom half of any number two and it's going to be Faith Butzler Flock and Helgeson opening pitch is going to be downstairs well I finally can start to see things a little better here hopefully we, we don't miss too much ground ball oh right on the bag and let's see was it a fair or foul ball it's going to be a foul ball just outside the line here. Well, we have to pan back enough so that we can <clears throat> see the pitcher and the batter. There's a foul ball. Always seems to uh, come across a little better when you can do that. Cashton today with only nine ladies to play. Talking with uh, Clint Kramer, the head coach, and he's like, yeah, nobody can get hurt. If that happens, he said, we're in, uh, we're in some deep trouble. We're going to just, we have to finish with eight. Swing and a miss. Butzler goes down. She had a pretty good cut. Just couldn't put the bat on the ball. There's one away. Here is Flock now. First offering was downstairs. Second one, though, right down the middle. Bell tie, and it's one and one. Those sponsors that we like to talk about, Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op. Kind of a half swing there. She couldn't quite decide if she should go after that one or not. 
Thanks to John Slevichek and the crew down there at Chaseberg. That ball is foul. Coon Valley Telecommunications bringing you this afternoon's action. Game time started at 5 o'clock. We'll have it on, of course, tape delayed. Oh, called strike three right around the knees. Two strikeouts in a row here for Marty. Here is Sidney Haugesson. Sidney with a couple of nice grabs out there in left field in this top half of the second inning. Now she's going to lay one out there, and she's going to get a hit. Nice job there. She just put the ball right over to the second base bag into center field. Sydney with the first hit for her second of the ball game for Cashton. Ground ball and the throw is going to go high and it's out of play. Out of play. So the runner and Helgeson has to stay at third base. Haley Brownell winds up at second. Top of the order, here's a shot out towards center, it's caught. Oh, what a good try over there for the Eagles. They came up just a little bit short here on uh, the fly ball to center field. No runs on one hit. And let's take a look here. That was a fielder's choice error, actually, uh, on the uh, third baseman, so error there. So one hit. Two left on base. We'll take a quick break and return here for inning number three. we come in the opening pitch is going to be a little bit uh, outside apparently and the count here is 1-0 oh. here's a hard shot right back up the middle for a single 
out to center field and a big turn there by the number three hitter in Chelsea Marty. Or check this. Uh, actually, that is uh, getting a steal there now. Was uh, Liska, excuse me. So now they're going to send her back because she was in the circle. Well, let's see here. We had the interesting part is I'm I must be off a little bit here. Uh, oh, there it was okay. There was the third out. I, I'm still off a little bit here for some reason though because I have Liska. Should have been the number two hitter, unless I was unless I misplaced the number ten hitter. That maybe that's what happened. So it would have been uh, Marty with that drive for the third out. Okay. Well, here we are with the runner on opening hit. Liska with the single. This is uh, Von Falkenstein, the shortstop. Much to her dismay, the uh, previous pitch was in there for a strike. This ball is lifted high and far, and it is a home run. Giving it a great try out there with Sidney Helgeson. Well, I think it was. Question is, was it uh, hit over the fence or did it bounce? I think it flew over the fence, to be honest. Harrelson says, oh, no, it went over. <laughs> yeah, you got to like that. Give the hitter what they deserve. A two-run shot here by Von Falkenstein. Linnea Colburns now stepping in. She cranked on a double. Her last at bat, it was the third double in a row when she got hers. And wound up four in a row, or four hits in a row. Hers was the last double. There's a called strike. Took that one upstairs. Even the count at one apiece. Fouled that one off. She had a pretty good rip on that offering from uh, Taylor Lukashevsky. Six nothing your score now. That's up high. Hillsboro jumping out in front here with four runs in the first and two here now in the top of the third. Another one up high. Culver's of Viroqua helping us out today. North side of Viroqua. Evinger's equipment sales and service. That's Mark Evinger in Viroqua as well. And Westby, it's embroidery and more with today's broadcast. Oh, somebody took a tough slide. Someone going to retrieve a ball took a slide on the cement with those cleats. There's a swing and a miss. Koblenz goes down. Lukashevsky, that is, uh, looks like that is her first 
strikeout of the ball game. Good time to get one. One away with two in. Kind of half swing, check swing, and wound up following that one back a little bit. Hard shot, knocked down, Hunt. Nice job over there by Ella Brigham, too, with the scoop. Hunt. In that, I tell you what, that is such a tough corner down there. Third base. She played that ball very well to knock it down and threw it over in time. And credit to Ella Brigham, too, with a nice stretch. Second base got by, right by the second base bag. Coming in with a solid shot was Seifert. Her second of the ball game. Here's Megan Muller now. Takes the ball as it one hops home plate. Lukashevsky delivers a strike. Here's a throw down to second base and in for the steal was Seifert. She got a pretty good jump on the ball from that pitch. Now Muller with an opportunity for an RBI. Well, the wind picking back up again. That offering is upstairs. A cooled day here in Cashton, even with the sun shining. You take the wind away and it's not all that bad. Just got a piece of that one. Ground ball right back. Uh-oh, the throw got by and a run is gonna score. Oh, a tough break there. That would have to go down as an E1. Seifert all the way around. <clears throat> and we should be now back to the top of the order. Lukashevsky gets a pop-up. Let's see if we can get that catch. We do. Able to make the grab for the out. Pop-up to third base for out number three. And let's take a look here. Three runs on two hits. Three hits, actually. Three runs on three hits. Of course, a big shot at two-run home run by Von Falkenstein to put the Tigers out in front six to nothing. Another run comes across, and your score is seven. Seven-zero. We'll be right back. Marty gets set to pitch here once again. Stepping in, uh, we go back to, uh, it should be Lukashevsky, number two hitter. Pop this one up, and oh, what a catch by the catcher. What a grab. You're not going to see many better than that.
Here is Natalie Kramer now. Swing and a foul back. She had a good rip on that one. That was high. Yeah, that was uh, that was a grab and a half right there. Catching is uh, Liska. Swing and a miss. That will. Put the uh, count now at two and two. Marty comes in and took a little bit off that one for a strikeout. She is doing a nice job of mixing up her pitches. Let's take a look here. Uh, four strikeouts in the game so far for Chelsea Marty. Pop this one up. Second baseman with the call and the grab. And it becomes a very quick one, two, three inning here for the uh, Cashton offense. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Three complete now in the books. And the score reads 7 nothing in favor of Hillsboro. We'll be back with more in a moment. Returning here to the Cashton softball field and the Eagles trail by a score of seven to nothing. The Tigers of Hillsboro coming back up to bat here in the top half of the fourth inning. We take a look at some of those sponsors as we get a swing and a miss. At least it was a strike call anyways. <laughs> and uh, of course we want to say thanks to that ball is going to ride in and it's actually going to hit the batter here and uh, let's see we should be back to the number two hitter that was Tony Mitchell that's who it was hit by the pitch but thanks again to uh, how about Gasser's Bar and Grill supporting today's broadcast along with Gunnarsson Health it's the Viroqua Clinic for you get all your prescription needs 
taken care of. Here's a ground ball right back to Lukashevsky. And oh, that one's thrown away. And a dead ball here as it goes beyond our line. That's the second error of the ball game on Lukashevsky. Runners move up one base. Nobody out, second and third, and here is a tough hitter in Malaya Liski. Liska, excuse me. And they're going to walk her intentionally. <coughs> excuse me. Well, they can't blame them for doing that one. But now you face Von Falkenstein, who hit a two-run shot back in the third inning. And here she is up to bat. She could really put uh, a number on things. This is going to be a pop-up out here to right. Not able to grab it. Good try over here by the right fielder. One run will score. And now two. Runners all over the place here. So two runs are going to score here. And there's an out, but another run coming across. Well, Hillsboro getting some stuff done. Uh, Von Falkenstein has a base hit. She's going to get credit for a couple of RBIs and then uh, just some miscues on where the ball was going to go winds up getting uh, three runs to come across here for Hillsboro. And they're now out in front. Ten nothing. The throw over to first base in plenty of time to get the out. That was uh, Koblenz five three. And let's see. One out, by the way, now two. Ground ball, bobbled, flipped over to first base in time to get the out. That was Hothi uh, with the run, and it goes one, two on the put out. But three big runs come across here for the Tigers of Hillsboro. They get those three runs on, uh, let's see, one hit, one walk. A hit batsman and an air. And the three runs eventually score. 10 nothing. We'll come back with the bottom half of inning number four. Well, the wind picking up just a little bit more out here in Cashin. We're out behind the uh, park area. There's a call strike. This is uh, Ella Brigan to start things off here for Cashin. They got a ways to go here. They got their work cut out for them. Got to play from behind. Chelsea Marty, the pitcher, doing a nice job mixing up her pitches. We want to say thanks to Main Street Mobile Mart in Viroqua. Nordic Lanes, that offering is downstairs. Out there in Westby. One and two the count now. This is a little fly ball. It's going to drop in for a hit right out here in shallow right field. So Brigham is on with a hit. Here is Faith Butzler. Ground ball. They'll go to first base just in time. Boy, I tell you what. Faith doing a great job of hustling down the line. And uh, she is just barely thrown out. 
Brigham moves down to second on the play. That was not a sacrifice. And here's Reba Flock. Takes the ball downstairs. That's inside and low. And the count moves to 2 and 0. Oh. There's your strike. And the count moves to 2 and 1. Well, the Riverbank helping us out today. Appreciate their terrific support as well as uh Scenic Bluffs Community Healthcare. There's another strike. That ball is fouled back. Two and two now with one away and runner and Brigham down at second base. That's downstairs and it's full. There's a ball and walking down to first Actually, uh, hustling there. <laughs> that is Flock picking up the walk. Runners at first and second now for Sidney Hargison. Hard shot. Oh, going to step on the bag at third to throw over in time. At second base, it's going to be a double play. What a tough break there as it winds up um, five unassisted and then the throw over to second base for out number three. Well, you just uh, can't ask for a better hard hit if you're the defense for the Tigers. It was kind of a tailor-made opportunity to get the out and to get the double play. 10 nothing. your score. We'll move to the fifth inning after this.
this is uh, Sierra Seifert stepping in. Takes the ball inside. Seifert with two hits today and a run scored. Yeah, a number of hits today so far for Hillsboro. Cashton uncharacteristically has had a couple three errors in here. There's a nice grab. Wow. Natalie Kramer, <laughs> right place at the right time. Get that mid up and make the grab. Line shot, one out. Here is uh, Muller. Well, we're gonna get a uh, change here. We'll have to wait and see. We didn't get the number, so we'll, somebody is hitting for Megan Muller. Twenty is going to be out of the ball game. That's Muller. Says the head umpire. I didn't catch the guy's names here umpiring today. Swing and a miss. That was inside, right at the shins. Next offering, ground ball. Kramer, the throw, in time. Whoa. Caught that bag. That was uh, number eight in here. So we'll get that uh, for you. Number eight was Ella Birch, sophomore. Coming in to bat. And hopefully it looked like she was okay. So Birch was the hitter. And we should be back to the top of the order here with Bloor. Sometimes uniforms will have a number on the small number on the front and then the larger number on the back, but Tigers, they don't have the number in the front. That's foul back. It is a blur here in the fifth. Scenic Bluffs Community Health Care, Sleepy Hollow, Snowflake Ski and Golf helping us out today, as well as Vernon Communications. Make sure we get the sponsors mentioned as uh, it is 10 to nothing, which means a 10 run rule after five. So Cashin's got to get the out here and then they've got to come in and score a run. I'm going to get as close to as many of them as possible just in case there's a walk with two down. And it's Tony Mitchell. Number two hitter. Mitchell today is 0 for 1. Grounded 6 3 in the first. Uh, popped out in the second inning and was hit by a pitch. So actually 0 for 2. Lukashevsky getting ready now. And that one hit her. Right in on the leg. It, 
second time in the ball game that she's been hit by a pitch. Well, now Chelsea Marty stepping in with two down and she can put a little more distance between them and the Eagles. And she might have done it right there. That's well tagged. That's going to be a home run. Wow. Did she hit a line drive there? That ball went flying out. And I don't mean that in the sense that, of course, it went flying out. I mean, it was, it was driven. So a three-run shot there with two down. Cashman was able to get the first two batters. And then after that, it was look out. Vernon Electric Cooperative, Vernon Manor Healthcare Center supporting today's broadcast. Cashed in softball. I'd also like to thank VMH, that's Vernon Memorial Healthcare. Well, with two down, three run Jack by Chelsea Marty. Puts the Tigers out in front, 13 nothing. Here's a pop up, that's gonna go foul. And it'll send Liska back to uh, hit once again. This time with a strike on her. There's a called strike. 0 and 2. That one rolled upstairs, up over the helmet. Liska, the catcher. That ball rolled in and caught her on the back of the arm. Lukashevsky just a little too close on that inside pitch. That's two hit batsmen in the inning. Looks like we're gonna get another pinch hitter here. Can't quite make out the number. Nine for five, I thought they said. If that's the case, then it's Peyton Sullivan. Sullivan coming in to bat. So a pinch hitter, swing and a miss. Sullivan went after a fastball right around the shoulders. Well, that ball just playing got away from uh, Taylor Lukashevsky. And scooting down the second base, Tigers with another run in scoring position. We're gonna have a courtesy runner come in and run for Liska. That's, uh, they said number seven, I believe, in Britsky. Shayna Britsky coming in to run. Least knocking that one down or stayed underneath her. Well, the Tigers 
Showing off some muscle here today. Couple home runs. And some uh, real good swings. Here's a ball, ground ball to second base. The pick, the throw in time to get the out. And that will take care of the inning as Sullivan grounds out 4-3. But three big runs coming across here in this fifth inning. They get those three runs all with two outs. It's a three-run home run by the pitcher in Chelsea Marty. 13-0 your score. We move to the bottom half of inning number five. Chelsea Marty will step in and tow the pitching rubber and is going to be firing a ball upstairs to Haley Brownell. Brownell today on by an error in that second inning. Here's a ground ball, second baseman, a toss in time to get the out. Hit the ball pretty solid, but the ground ball right into the mitt of the second baseman. And we go back to the top of the order with Grace Lease. Well, let's take a look at those sponsors. We might as well finish them off while we have a chance here. Lease stepping up, but takes the ball downstairs. Thanks to the VFW of Viroqua helping us out today. The Viroqua Booster Club and the Viroqua Dental Center. And a big thank you also going out to the Viroqua Food Co-op. Here's a ground ball, shortstop, pick the throw, not going to be in time. Lease with some good hustle, outran that one. We're going to give her a base hit. With one on and one out. Hard hit out to center field. This is over the center fielder's head. And uh, heading to third is going to be Lease. She had to wait just to make sure. But Lukashevsky got a hold of that one. She winds up with a long single. And if she didn't have uh, Lease on base, she would have had a double. But again, in all fairness for Grace, she had to see if that ball was going to be caught or not. So she was kind of sitting just partially off the bag at first. Here goes the runner down to second. Good job. That's Lukashevsky. Here's Natalie Kramer. Swing there, maybe a foul. It's one and one. One on, check that, one down and two on. Fly ball, this is over the head of the left field, right fielder, and there's going to be a double and two RBI. So a good piece of hitting there by Natalie Kramer. She stands at second base, and she winds up cranking out a double to get those ribbies. 13 to 2. Still a little cushion here yet for the Tigers. Tegan Hunt, though, can put a charge into the ball. Let's see what she can do. She has been given the collar so far, two pop-ups to the second baseman. Foul tip. One out, Hunt now down in the count at 2-0. Oh. Or 0-2, oh I should say. <laughs> I knew sooner or later I'd do that. That ball gets away from Liska. A little bit of a wild pitch there, I would imagine. Kramer scoots down to third. 
Well, it's much cooler out now as the sun starts to go down and gets behind those clouds. And you think, my goodness, they are talking uh, some potential freezing areas. There's a base hit. Hunt coming through with a hard shot right back up the middle, just out of the reach of the pitch of the uh, shortstop on the right side of the pitcher. Well, they got a chance to get this into the sixth inning now if they can pick up a run. They need uh, Tegan Hunt to score. That ball is upstairs. Well, the Vasatag Funeral Home helping us out today. Since 1970, they've been around. There's a strike. Throw down the first, but Hunt was back in. Brigham has one for two for on base percentage today. Now another strike. Thanks to the Westby Co-op Credit Union with today's broadcast support. And, of course, the Westby Co-op Creamery helping us out. We thank all of those terrific sponsors bringing you today's action. There's a swing and a miss. It's a strikeout here for Marty. And now cashing down to their last out here. They want to get this run in in Hunt, and Faith Butzler steps in from the left-hand side. Takes the strike on the outside part of the plate. That one's fouled off and down to the last strike now. Owen to the count for Butzler. Let's see what Marty's going to throw here. Right down the middle, she threw it by, and that'll be the ball game. My goodness. Let's take a look here. Two strikeouts in that inning. And let's see, three, four, five, six for the ball game for Chelsea Marty. Well, the Eagles put three runs on the board here in the fifth, but not enough to go into six, the sixth inning. Hillsboro put four on the board in the first, one in the second, three in the third, Three in the fourth and three in the fifth. Take a 13 to nothing lead here before the Tigers, well, they put something together and had three runs come across here in the uh, fifth inning, but they wind up finishing the game uh, in five as the Tigers win 13 to three. Well, we certainly hope that you've enjoyed watching this Western Wisconsin Video Production LLC of Cashton Softball. And we'll take a look at more games along the rest of this spring season. We hope you can join us for any and all. So long for now. We will see you real soon somewhere back on the Diamond.